Hey everyone, how are you? Neil Mike here. Today we're going to take a look at the Spider Farmer SF1000. So we've had this light here now for a couple of weeks. We've had a good long period to take a good look at it. Um, this light really doesn't need any introductions. If you're on Facebook, YouTube, uh, you can see in any post that uh, people are looking for light, they're talking about this light right here. Um, so we've got one here to take a closer look at and that's what they said, what we have done over the last couple of weeks. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about it. It does use a meanwhile driver, uh, which is using a XLG100. Um, very basic driver. There is a there is a dimmer on the bottom, but it's not actually a classified as a dimmer according to the company. The meanwhile does make drivers that have dimmers, um, but this is not that. This is more of an engineer's access um, in order to to dim your light. It, you have to take off the driver in order to do that. Um, so it is not quite a dimmable driver. It is, but it isn't at the same time. Um, so for LEDs, this light here um, uses Samsung 301B uh, chips. Um, and the spectrum is made up of uh, 3000K, 5000K, 660 nanometers. And there is a single IR760 chip. And that would be on the opposite side of this piece here. So it's right here in the middle on this side. So a single IR chip on this light. Um, so you can probably see that there is a reflective coating on here. This would be a gel coating. Um, so the benefits and negatives to the gel coating is obviously it's going to hold in more heat. Um, and we'll show that during the heat uh, test that we do. And also it is going to uh, hurt your power a little bit because it, it does obviously put a layer over the LED chips and have the light having to go through that layer is obviously going to uh, hurt a little bit of the par. So uh, this light here is not actually very big at all. It's only uh, 11 by 8 inches by 10 by 5. Um, and they say you're going to get a 3 by 3 coverage for veg um, and you're going to get a 2 by 2 coverage uh, with this thing here in the flower. So when we do subpar testing, we're gonna have to double, double check that and uh, see if that's what we get. All right, so let's do our energy testing, our PAR testing, our heat testing, and come back when we know a little bit more information. So what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, test how hot the board is actually getting. It's been running now for six hours. Ambient temperature in here is 22.3 degrees Celsius. Uh, so let's take a closer look. So top of the board, we are hitting 50.5 degrees Celsius. 122 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm just reading this off of the sticker here. It's where we're getting our best reading. On top of the driver, we are getting 55.5 on top of the driver, we're getting 55 degrees Celsius, 55.5, that comes out to 132 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. And on the bottom of the board, just a random reading, 135 uh, 0.2 degrees Fahrenheit and 57.3 degrees Celsius. Um, so it actually is getting pretty warm uh, sitting in here without ventilation on. Alright guys, so we have tested this light here out and uh, we've kind of taken the power, we've done the energy consumption, and we did some heat testing like you guys all seen. So um, let's talk about the power a little bit out of this light. This here is pretty much on par with some of the other 100 watt lights that we put out. And I think we're actually gonna have to make a video just showing the other 100 watt lights and just kind of put them all together um, and kind of talk about them because uh, some of them are, some of these numbers are pretty intriguing. So um, with this light here, I was not getting the 2.7 that it was advertising. Uh, in a non-reflective area, we got 1.7. 
Uh, that's on par with the other 100 watt lights that we've got. They're all pretty much about the same thing. Um, we went over and uh, actually checked out Shane from my from Migros uh, YouTube channel, and he got 1.9 testing this light in optimum conditions. Um, so uh, that's the way he tests is pretty optimum uh, conditions for the light. So at 1.9 is what they're getting. So I I, I don't see this 2.7 that they're that they're suggesting. Uh, but that's all right for for a 100 watt light. The numbers aren't that bad from it. Um, and I think once we, maybe I'll do, like I said, another video here and we'll just talk about all the 100 watt lights and we put up the comparison with all of them, you'll kind of see that it's, it's, it's really on par. Um, but yeah, no, so this light here was, uh, I believe $210 on Amazon, uh, in, here in Canada. Uh, I'm sure it's a lot cheaper in the States and I don't have the numbers on me right now, but with the coverage of this light, I think we'd get about a 2.5 in veg is what I would give it from looking at the par map and uh, probably a two by two in flowering. So for wattage, this here was pulling 96 watts, so really not that bad. Um, once again, usually about the same thing that we were seeing with the other 100 watt lights that were pulling. Uh, for the temperature wise, the board was staying at about 50 degrees, that's 123 uh, Celsius. The driver was 55 and that's uh, 132. And the bottom of the board was a little warm, 57. Um, at 135 and that's obviously that extra heat that you see on the bottom that's just from this gel coating once again holding in some of that heat right so um, not that bad of a light overall um, but I think that I kind of came came across something here when I was looking at the uh, the power test trying to figure out why the the numbers were so low and I don't think it's really a big deal but um, I have noticed that I don't believe that all these LEDs are Samsung now, if you come and look right on to the Spider Farm website, it shows 208 uh, Samsung LEDs. And that would be the LM301Bs, right? Uh, but it doesn't specify anything about the single IR or the 660 deep red nanometers. Um, so another thing when I was actually looking um, is the warranty. It's The warranty is not really that good for these lights. Um, and I'm kind of surprised. It's, it's actually pretty pretty crappy actually um, so the first three months it's free now I'm gonna say you get three-year part warranty which I believe the parts are, are warranted by the manufacturer but that's beyond the point so you get a three-year um, warranty with parts for this light now for the first three months there's no repair fee um, and you don't have to pay for shipping but after three months to a year you have to pay for a repair fee and you have to pay for shipping one way. From one year to three years, you're paying for repair fee and shipping for both ways. So here in Canada, where you're shipping out this light, that's gonna cost you like 30 bucks to ship it each way. And then I'm sure they're gonna charge you at least a $25, $30 repair fee. That's gonna cost you a hundred bucks, over half the price of this light, just to get it fixed. So uh, for me, that, that, that warranties, that's a killer. You know what I mean? So. I don't know, that kind of disappoints me a little bit because the light's not that bad, but the warranty is really not a hassle-free warranty like we see with a lot of the other manufacturers. So one thing I would like to talk about is the driver that they use. Now, meanwhile, it is a quality driver, uh, but at the beginning of the video, I said that it kind of was dimmable, it kind of wasn't at the same time, and I, I wanted to verify, or just to show you what I meant, or go into a little bit more detail, because maybe it wasn't clear enough. Um, it is a dimmable driver, like I was saying. But it, this driver here has the ability to basically overpower. Um, so I believe it can go up to 150 watts in the manual. And if you turn this up to 150 watts, you are gonna fry these LEDs pretty quick. Unless you pull off this heat sink and you put on something real, you put on some fans, uh, some active heat sink, I would not attempt to overdrive your lights. So, that's why I was saying this really isn't a dimmer that everybody should be playing with. So uh, we'll give you a quick little demo here. But uh, other than that, I'm going to put it right back down to the 96 watts that we had it set to from the factory. All right, guys. Um, so if you're going to uh, play with this at all, you should really have some sort of uh, power consumption meter letting you know. Uh, right now it's showing me that it's pulling 96 watts. 
Um, and that's what we're going to make sure that we tune it back down to when we're done. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to take off a couple of these screws here. All right, so hopefully this screwdriver here works. Okay, so it does. Uh, so I'm just going to grab my phone once again just so we can see this here. Uh, so right now... This is very sensitive in how we uh, turn it up here. 72 watts. Eighty seven watts. Oh. And it's topping out. Right now showing one hundred and forty six watts. And you can feel it, it's already getting warm. So like I said, you're going to damage your light if you do this, so we're gonna turn it back down here. One hundred watts. So I'm actually having a hard time just to uh get this back down to 97 watts. It's really, really, really sensitive. I've got it jumping here between 95 and 96. I, I think that's pretty close, guys. I think that's where we should leave it. I don't want anything to happen to the light, uh, so that's where I'm going to leave it. Like I said, taking this off and, and playing with this is just a way to damage your light. Um, like I said, you shouldn't be doing it without having proper testing tools so you can actually see what voltage you're playing with. And uh, yeah, it's just not for the everyday person to be playing with. So uh, that's why I'm saying this here isn't actually a dimmable light. If you look at some of the other lights we've had with a dimmer knob, it makes it really easy to turn up. You can't uh, overpower your light by turning it up with a dimmer knob. And um, it's just a lot more practical for use than something like this. So I hope you guys uh, like this video. If you, uh, if you have any other products you'd like me to check out, uh, leave them down in the comment below. And uh, yeah, you guys all have yourself a great day. Take care.